We started the show off with some highlights from Friday evening at Bedford Speedway, including the URC sprints, which I'm sure the fans will be glad to see their return. Oh yes, as Robbie Stowagon would say, woohoo! <laughs> well, let's go back to Friday evening for some super late model action. Mike Altabelli Jr. in the black 79 and the aid of Matt Sponogle started on the front row for the 25 lap feature. Sponogle makes the outer groove work through one and two as he gains a car length on Altabelli. Then Altabelli edges past the eight machine as they race towards turn three. It's virtually a dead heat through three and four. On the exit of the turn, Sponogle begins to inch ahead of Altabelli and leads lap number one. The three laps in the books, we have a caution which sets up this restart. Matt Parks in the black 15 jumps out of line at the drop of the green. In fourth is the yellow number two of Steve Campbell. Matt Cosner runs fifth, while 92 Jeff Ryan, 20 Sean Clark, and Wayne Johnson race for the sixth spot. For many laps, Parks chased out to belly for the second position, while Spawn will continue to open up his lead. Ryan would eventually get by Cosner for the fifth position as it go through turns three and four. For many laps, Spawn Ogle led the field with Out the Belly second, Parks third, Campbell fourth, and Ryan fifth. As Spawn Ogle closed on cars at the tail of the field, Out the Belly and Parks were able to reel them in. As they race into turn one, Parks has the inside line on Out the Belly. Parks then works on Spawn Ogle for the lead as they charge down the back stretch. In turn three, they encounter the 36 of Travis Calhoun. On the exit of four, Parks dives under Calhoun, allowing Spawn Ogle to maintain the top spot. Parks then loses ground to Spawn Ogle as he tries to clear John Myers. Parks then rockets off of turn two and past the 12 machine. Three laps later, Parks catches back up to Spawn Ogle. He tries the high side through turns three and four. On the exit, he is able to shoot to the lead with four laps to go. Parks would pull away while Altabelli tried to track down Spawn Ogle. And Matt Parks would go on to take the victory. However, as soon as he took the checkers, Ryan Kristoff spun right in front of him and Parks had nowhere to go, resulting in this crash. Matt, congratulations on the win. It got to be kind of single file for most of the race, but the three of you put on quite a show at the finish. Yeah, once we got in the lap traffic, Gary, and uh, I could watch the guys in front of me and uh, kind of pick a lane where they weren't and uh, capitalized on uh, Oh, where they weren't, so, uh, but all in all, yeah, it worked out all right. I was going to say the winning pass on Spawn Ogle. Everybody seemed to be hugging the bottom, but you made it work up top. Yeah, once once my tires uh, fire off, I think I was probably a little bit harder on tires. And once they fired, and uh, I could I could carry momentum around the top, and I think that was the key there tonight. And what happened down here in turn one after the checkers? Well, for, for the second time this year, a, uh, we took the checkered and the lap car spun out in front of me. I didn't have anywhere to go, but a little, little frustrating, but uh, on the other side of it, we got the checkered, so that's the main thing. And you have a very strong team here. I'm sure they'll get this put back together, and you'll be back in victory lane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get it, get it back together. I got, like you say, I got a, a, a bunch of really good guys that help me. Uh, they, they probably know more about this stuff than what I do, so uh, I got all the faith in them. We'll be all right. Matt Sparnogle held off Mike Altabelli Jr. to take second. Jeff Ryan came home fourth ahead of Steve Campbell. In the pure stocks, Bill Replogle celebrated being a new father by taking the checkers over Jim Moreland, Reed Stickle, Travis Group, and Kyle Beckett. And Jared Barkley was victorious in the four cylinders. Brian Peer, Robert Pluta, Andrew Pluta, and Kel Martin round out the top five. Well, for Matt Park's sake, I certainly hope the next time he goes to Victory Lane, he's able to drive up to it instead of being towed. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he and his crew would appreciate that. Now, coming up next on the show, we will go back to CMB Bank Raceway Park for some Super Cup stock cars and a preview of some upcoming special events. Keep it here. WR Hickey is going platinum with the triple filtered smooth finish and top shelf taste of Bud Light Platinum. WR Hickey is your local Anheuser-Busch master distributor, ensuring that all your favorite beers like Bud Light, Bud Light Lime, Bud Light Limerita, Bud Light Strawberryita, and Black Crown are delivered fresh from the brewery to our store. Let our beer runners bring your favorite Anheuser-Busch beer right to your car. WR Hickey Beer Distributor, East College Avenue State College. <laughs> 